This is going to be more like a quick tip than a tutorial because right now I just want to show you the basics of converting the screen output to an HTML file which you can view in your browser. There are reasons for this converting and one of them could be that you want to make an HTML report. Most get commandlets are going to do the trick but uh, start by typing in get process. The get process commandlet without the parameters gets all the processes on a local or remote computer. We haven't covered the commandlet get process yet. That will come in its own detailed tutorial. I'm just gonna clear the screen here. And we are going to write uh, get process again. What we want to do now is convert this information to an HTML file and it's not really going to be that nice looking. Formatting the HTML file is also a detailed tutorial in itself. The commandlet we are going to be using is called convert to HTML. Convert to HTML. What this commandlet does is convert Microsoft.NET Framework objects into HTML that can be displayed in a web browser. And the out file sends output to a file. We need to put in a location here, C colon backslash. That is where we want uh, the file to be placed and the name of it. And we'll call it uh, process1 and the ending HTML. So what we are doing here is uh, piping all the information from get process over to convert to HTML and then we are piping that to our out file. Now you can place this file anywhere you want to. I'm just placing it under C colon for uh, pure convenience. So hit uh, enter and if uh, nothing happens here that's a good sign. Go in on the Windows Explorer. Here's our file. Open it. And like I mentioned, not really nice looking. And that's actually all there is to it. Go back to PowerShell again and uh, type in get process. In PowerShell, Microsoft is not going to show you all the information. It's going to show you what it thinks you want to see. And as a default, it's going to keep it nice and tidy so you can see it on one screen. That is the width and not the length. At uh, the top here, you can see that you have uh, eight column headers. Now back to our uh, HTML file you can see that you have lots of uh, column headers. There is uh, much more information. Even though seeing and editing all this information can be done right in PowerShell, having it in an HTML file is also a good way to see the information. Now, maybe all that's interesting is the two column headers here, ID and process name. That's actually all we want. So let's uh, clear the screen. And we start with uh, get process, pipe it to convert to uh, HTML. And we want the property. We haven't covered that yet. Property ID and uh, process name. We want that pipe to uh, the out file and we want to place that in C colon backslash and we'll call it uh, process2 with uh, the ending HTML. Click enter. Go in on Windows Explorer and you see process2 here. And that's our information, ID and process name. And that's about it. We are going to cover this um, in much more detail later on. This is just kind of like a quick tutorial.